Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kaji Data Online. In this video, we are going to explore a project that uh, consists of RTC, real time clock over here. So I have a real time clock model 1302 and we are going to learn about how to set it up and then connect it with our LCD with the I square C module and create a clock. Okay, it's as you can see over here we have a clock with the indications of the time and also the date so after you plug it out from the Arduino Uno in this case so we can also use the external battery powered um, item and then uh, display our module alright so let's begin on our project so before we begin let me just uh, reset everything by just uh, removing the uh, battery over here so if we remove the battery so basically what will happen the um, the date are going to be reset okay so they are no longer a date that being memorized in our module and we are going to learn about how you can use this RTC 1302 module with the Arduino Nano and then we are going to also interface it with our LCD Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, let's dive in. So before we begin, in the first place, we need to understand the diagram. So if you can see here, I have the DS1302. So the DS1302 are going to have at least five connections. So the first one over here is called VCC. Go to the 5 volt of the Arduino Uno. And then the ground are going to be connected at the ground of the Arduino Uno. Followed by the CLK. DAT and RST so let us find out so the CLK will be attached at the digital pin number 5 followed by the DAT or data file are going to be attached at the digital pin number 4 over here and then the last but not least is the RST pin the reset pin are going to be attached at the digital pin number 2 so for our I square C display 16 by 2 we are going to attach it with our I square C module for LCD and as usual we are going to connect the VCC to the 5 uh, volt of the Arduino Uno the ground are going to be connected at the ground and then the SDA the yellow color over here that being indicated on my cursor the yellow color SDA are going to be attached at the, the analog A4 and then for the S CL are going to be connected at the A5 so you can either use this side of Arduino Uno or you can attach it at anywhere in uh, this area at the analog in of the A4 and A5 so remember A4 goes to the SDA and A5 goes to the SCL so let us look into the coding part of this project if you can see after I reset it just now so the time become troublesome right so this is what happened if you reset your RTC or if you buy your new RTC. So you have to configure and also setting, setting it up uh, to match with our internet or computer uh, timer and then it will store it inside their memory over here. So let us find out how to do that. So you need to have at least two libraries. Okay, so the first libraries will be available at the Arduino library manager and then another library we call it as the external one you can find out all the libraries that indicated in this video in the description all right so the first one you can have a look at the include library over here and then find out the following libraries so these libraries are available and already being suggested by a lot of uh, community with regard to the use of Arduino uh, project for the RTC so RTC so RTC are going to be searched in the library manager databases and then you need to install what we call it as the RTC by Makuna okay so you have to write RTC by Makuna and then after you find out this RTC by Makuna you can install it accordingly so I already installed it inside my Arduino IDE so if you go here then you have to navigate the file name as examples and then you go to the ds1302 underscore simple sketch okay you can just scroll down over here and then find out the rtc by makuna so this is one of the comprehensive and very uh, 
uh, significantly um, useful uh, sketch that can be attached directly to your Arduino project and thus give a very good results. So if you can see here, we need to set up the three wires as I indicated uh, before where we need to connect it as the following example. So I make a repetition. The clock are going to be attached at the digital pin number 5. The DAT are going to be attached at the digital pin number 4 and then the RST are going to be attached at the digital pin number 2. And therefore, we have to choose our Arduino and then uh, choose your appropriate COM port and then you can straight away upload the code. Finish uploading the code, then your Arduino Uno are basically integrate your RTC to collect the information with regard to the time and date as following. So this is the example of it and then some of the things that uh, becoming like this is because you need to change the baud rate into the 57,600 baud rate and then you will be seeing something like this alright so RTC is newer than the compile time and therefore it is expected to be true so we have here if you can see on my screen uh, 12 6 minutes so we have the same uh, timer so after you finish using the RTC DS1302 simple sketch by Makuna then you can upload these following examples so basically let us learn about the example of the sketch so the first one you are going to initialize the liquid crystal uh, with the i square c and then you initialize with the include library and then the next one is actually you need to include this library virtual botics rtc.h so this one is available in the description below you can also find out more about uh, this particular libraries because it helps you to integrate your RTC by using a certain command that are much more simpler than the previous or the other libraries so you can uh, make a void setup over here and then I'm going to initialize everything inside the void loop with regard to these functions okay I'm going to say the my RTC dot update time LCD status serial and then we are going to make some delay for two seconds and then we make some void over here at the serial 2 and then uh, we are going to make some void on the LCD status then you can see over here we are actually printing the hours minutes and also second and then we are going to print the day and also the month after that you can see over here we are not configured it yet and then we can just uh, select our appropriate board and proceed with the upload buttons so after you uploading this sketch so your Arduino project are going to be uh, recorrect according to the time given by the RTC. Okay. So let me just wait for a while. This is the uploading. Uploading are going to be observed over here. And then done uploading. So we can open our serial monitor to see whether there is a, some changes over here. And then make sure that you change back your baud rate into the normal baud rate. Uh, 9600 baud rate. And then we are going to observe some sort of uh, changes. If there is a changes, then that means we are um, finally configure our RTC. So if you can see over here, our our RTC are finally configure, and then we can uh, have a look that we have a time and then we have a date. Okay, I really hope that you are going to understand and uh, enjoy this uh, video. Hopefully, you can comment and then uh, give some ideas with regard to the future projects so next video we are going to discuss about how you can use the similar rtc but we are going to integrate it with the other sensors and so on with that thank you very much and see you again next time bye bye